that those girls were so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> All right, it might be worth it. What's 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 um, in in terms of guest relations over the years? Um, and and don't say me because I know it's me. But what's a, a guest that you got that you were like yes that you were like really excited about getting? I mean, I, maybe a Japanese oh, guest or whatever. You know, is there something that you felt was like a real coup? Yuki Kajiura. Oh uh, yeah. I had my own personal fangirl moment when I got to meet her, and I do not fangirl. Um, before this, I worked in radio and uh, music, so yeah. I've gotten to work in, and spend time with a lot of the uh, the big name rock and alternative bands and some classical artists. And like, oh my God, I just spent time with someone, 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 someone. And I just calmed down after that. But getting to meet her, I was just like, oh my. Okay, new shorts. <laughs> yeah, and mine was uh, Sumi Shimamoto, the original voice of Nausicaa, because like, and she was the sweetest, nicest, most awesome guest in the world, but I, when I saw, I first saw the name and I'm like, why do I know that name? Why do I know that name? And then I start reading and I'm like, oh. and she was like super sweet people, and, like really good. Yeah, and Moriyama, if I can't say that because that's obvious. <laughs> well, honestly, I every year there's always guests. I'm like, oh, it's a new guest. Oh, you know what? I really wanted to meet them. Like this year, uh, we had the opportunity to bring in Karen Strassman from Perth Door. Now I know all these guys. I've known some of these guys for so years. Well, here's the thing: is I wasn't as aware of Keith as I was Karen and Kurt because the first DVD anime that I had bought was, okay, the first three, were, were Fushiki Yugi, yeah. and Lane, yeah. Yeah. Yes. and, um, you know what, right now, I can't, oh, yeah, Fushiki Yugi, Lane, and, um, Sliders, but, but still, you know, the fact that there were names that were, you know, potential guests that were available to us that I remember back when oh, everything was brand new and sparkly. Yeah. And before yeah. I got involved with the conventions, I'm like, oh my god, this is going to be so effing epic. It was yeah. it was cool meeting Kirk for me too because I um, I've never met him before, but you know, uh, twelve years ago uh, I used to cast him in things. Um, when I was working for Central Media, and we we sent some work uh, to a California's way, Bang Zoom, and uh, and you know I remembered his name from that, and then I was looking up, and that's also a funny one because uh, we used to work on weird like like Japanese B movies, like live action B movies. They're usually action movies starring this guy named Ricky Takeuchi. If you've ever heard of him, huh? The King of Zutani stuff also, but like this Ricky Takeuchi was like this action star, and uh, our voice for him, the American voice for him was Steve Bloom, who is so good, um, but, and people think of Steve Bloom and they think of all the mainstream stuff that he's done, all I can think of are these horrible B movies when I see him, and Kirk was in some of these, so that was kind of fun for me to go up to him and be like, dude, Tokyo Mafia, and he's like, Oh! <laughs> so, um, so yeah, that was pretty awesome. Yeah. My most of my memories of 2003 actually involved being at the bar watching hockey with the uh, the young voice actor, the young men from uh, Gundam Wing. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Scott? No. 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 Uh, well, he's not young. Scott wasn't <laughs> drinking. Okay. Scott was Brad. Was it Brad? Brad. Brad and, and Mark. Oh, yeah. and if you're watching with Brad, you're watching hockey. 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 Yeah. hockey. Actually, Again, if you watched some hockey. Yeah, well, this is back when you could smoke inside in Boston. Yeah. And um, yeah, at the bar at the Boston Park, Park Plaza, um, I made friends with the bar manager and the bartender, and we never had to wait. Nice. Wow. Nice. And half, That's my, awesome. half my beers never showed up on the tab. <laughs> Good. Yeah, yeah. Jamie, Jamie McGonagall was a guest that year too. Yes, yeah. Was. Yeah, Jamie and I were both, we're, we're both wearing leather pants when we met, and it's Aww. been magic ever since. So, yeah, that was the 
first time I ever met him. And he's, he's I, I think, has become a really, really good friend. And, you know, but that, that's the first time I ever met him was here. Yeah, I met Mary Elizabeth McGlynn here for the first time. Oh, yep. And, awesome. yeah, and we've been friends. Really? You had, you had met her before? No, 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 because it, it was so long ago, I wasn't really going to LA that much then. Okay. And, and I guess before coming here, worked on Naruto. She's one of the coolest people in this business. I, I actually met Mike Senator Nicholas too. Seriously? Yeah. This is the first time we ever met. Happy anniversary. Yes, happy anniversary. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, was it a really good friend. Greg. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, Greg, Greg was a really good friend with friends with Mike. And, uh, and, you know, I was always hearing Mike this, like this, like this, like this. And I was sitting in the green room, I think with Andy. And we were sitting there, and I was having something to eat. This guy came flying in, and, and Lo, hey, 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 hi, nice to meet you. And I, I never caught his name. And he flew out. I said, well, who was that? She looked up like Senator Nichols. I went, well, I wanted to meet him. And obviously, and he just did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to get that now a little bit later. No, this is the first time we ever actually met face to face. Yes, sir. And then about three hours later, you came in with, with your uh, Mac something or other playing lightsaber sounds in the radio. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> that was like the week that, yeah, that was the week that I spawned all copies of Mac Saber. This is the accelerator. I mean, you can do it on an iPhone now. Yeah, yeah. I was wielding laptops. I don't even remember that. Yeah, it was a black MacBook. I remember it. Yeah. The Sabbath has it, like they were talking about that. And then I gave it to Liam, and then Liam O'Brien was doing a show with, with Neil Patrick Harris, and then they were doing it. It was like one week where it spawned. That's awesome. I also remember the year that we introduced Greg and Chris to Newberry Comics. Oh, yes. which I have made a point of wasting a ton of money yeah. in that store every time yeah, I go to the city. Yeah. 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 I think this weekend I've already spent $125 at Newberry That's Comics. That's last year. I used Michael Tatum to that store. Oh my god, Michael Tatum went bananas in that store. Uh, someone needs to introduce me to that store. Oh, oh no, no, no. <laughs> Seriously, dude, we can go there because oh, yeah. Henry has been hassling me all week. Like, who are we going to go in there? I want to buy, you know, so you can come with us if you want. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, uh, they might be closed. They might be closed tomorrow. Really? Yeah. Um, Easter, Easter, they might be closed. Stupid yeah. bunny holidays. <laughs> there would be time on Monday. You but, oh, yeah, 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 maybe Monday. Yeah. Well, we took him to something similar in Austin, Texas, oh, a place yeah. called yeah. Toy Joy. He almost missed his plane because he was buying like Ninja Turtle stuff. He got a glass set and a belt buckle and like all this stuff, and then they had to send it to him. Yeah, there was a winner's don't do drugs notebook. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. He was like, and it was like, Mike, you're gonna miss your plane. Oh, and and this, and this too. Like he just kept adding things onto his pile of toys. Mike, come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's what I did with my guys. I took them all up and down, and that's where I left them to come do my panels. I was like, okay, y'all are at Newberry Comics. You'll be fine. I'll see y'all tonight. <laughs> My, I, so I live between New York and LA, and it's, I don't know where I live really, but I have two places. But my place in LA is all like stupid big boy crash pad stuff. I've got all the video. I have a friend of mine who's a writer for Adult Swim, uh, now lives in LA and works for like Hasbro. And he's, he's doing, oh no, not crash okay, yeah, yeah. And he's okay. doing like all the DC Nation stuff where they make like real superhero weapons. So we have like the real Batarang hanging up, oh. a bunch of silly art for people who do Adult Swim shows. And Pac Man themed everything. We, and we incidentally both bought matching. Pac-Man pajamas. Um, and then that's where I got all the intro glasses, Pac-Man thing. I got a little arcade thing for the iPad, uh, and uh, video games and Pac-Man and game stuff. So I need to fill it out because there's still a couple of missing blank spaces of wall that need a uh, 12-year-old boy things. So. Yeah, I got a ha I got a whole room full of it. Right. Yeah. I'll send you some of my action figures. Well, I remember. Uh, Tom and Chris both joined us in Providence as well. Yeah. Oh, man. And Thanks. Providence Anime Conference also connected to a shopping mall and giving Tom directions oh, how to get to the Newbury Comp. Yes. yes. Yeah. And then we had to repack your bags so you could take the train home. Yeah, I had to, yeah, I went, I remember because that was, uh, like, wait, what year was that? 2008. Eight. 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 Yeah. Right. So Ben had just shown up. Uh, and and I, I yeah I got him on. Uh, well, he was yeah because he didn't go to that show with me because he's twenty one up and he was not twenty one. Um, he was like two months old and I went and got like a bunch of Yo Gabba Gabba stuff there for him because Broby we it's funny when you have little babies you basically 
like decide you're going to be into this and then just sort of hope it works out and we, we decided that Broby uh, from Yo Gabba Gabba would be his thing and uh, so for a little while yeah I mean he definitely liked it so we got him all this Broby stuff and I remember going there and, and then you know uh, Henry got like this set of special like this this like you know exclusive like clone trooper set and he, Finn got oh Finn got zombies there's this thing of zombies and like like Victims and Zombie stuff. Victims. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's, and that's what my house is full of crap like that. Is like, you know, um, yeah. It's because in, in, I have three sons, but people in my neighborhood often Come to your say house. that. Well, no, that they say that my wife is is the single mother of four. Ah. So, <laughs> uh, I got more crap to give you. I got you a toy thing. Oh, um, awesome! <laughs> I love uh, my kids love too. So, yeah. I think we're at time. Yeah, they were, they were, they've been motioning, keeping us posted yeah, on time yeah, down there. Wow, thank you guys so much. Yeah. Yeah. This is a real thing. Thank you all for coming up. We promise that five of the 20 years of anniversary.